Hey, I just thought I'd make a video on how to swap the SSD in the uh, AOK Zoe A1. I ordered the base model SSD, the 512 gigabyte drive, because um, the GPD device is always shipped with a garbage drive. Um, it's not super hard. Uh, the, the back just comes apart with a couple of screws. It's pretty easy. Um, anyone who hasn't opened like a 1X player or something, um, the easiest way to pry the case apart I found is along the top, even though the bottom has that little divot for the stand. Um, I can get my nails in there, uh, but if you've got a prying tool, I'm sure it'll get in there. But um, I've had some pretty good luck with my nails. None of the case has been scratched, so it's not too hard to open up. Once it opens up, you've just got to be a little bit careful of the cabling inside. Um, so it comes apart. Once it's apart, the SSD is it's a little hidden, but it's pretty easy to get to. It's under here. Uh, to get to it, we've just got to loosen the uh, fan kind of assembly. Uh, I think there was a piece of tape here, here, the captain tape on this something. Um, I've just taken it off. I don't think it's got to stay on there for any reason. Um, there's a little uh, double-sided tape cable guide on here. I've just left it off. Um, and you can remove this, but the, the antennas are quite small and delicate. So all I've done when I replace it is just unscrewed the Wi-Fi card, left it off to the side, taken everything apart slowly, and then just put it back in without unplugging the antennas. Um, another thing that's got to come off is this piece of tape for the for the fan that mates up to the heatsink. Um, because the whole fan and everything lifts up. And then you can just put this back on later. So I just take that off and I've put it off to the side. So there's one screw here. Something to note with the heatsink assembly is that all the screws belong in a specific place. Uh, they're all different lengths. I, I, I think um, that comes apart. There's another one of those guides there. I haven't taken that one out. Um, there's one other sneaky screw. I wouldn't pull them off with this one, two, three, four screws. There's actually fifth. It's under this piece of tape here. So you can just gently gently pull it up careful because there's ribbons cables everywhere you just loosen this or take it out if you can yeah it's undone now um, the housing screws from the plate and the screws on the inside are also a different size so again tr don't mix them up Doing the SSD itself is pretty easy. It is a PCI Express NVMe drive. I think it accepts up to Gen 4. I'm not sure if the stock drive in it was Gen 4. Uh, I don't remember. I just wanted larger storage, so I've just put whatever two terabyte drive I had lying around. Um, so with that out of the way, this whole assembly lifts up very gently. That is okay, cool. So I just noticed uh, undoing this assembly that there's this little like I don't know support platform thing underneath here. Um, I'm not quite sure what direction that's meant to go. I'm going to assume it goes underneath here. Possibly it goes. Oh, this is what it is. It's a little like, I don't know, some sort of pad thing. I think it sits over here.
I mean, that looks about right. I don't remember that bit being in there the first time I opened it up. Okay, I think that lines up there. And then that sits on top of, back on top of it once it goes back together. That's a little jank. Okay, so the SSD itself is underneath here. Oh, also I really recommend doing this with a screwdriver bit that's a little magnetic because the, all the bits are ferrous. So, um, and they're really small and easy to lose. And the SSD itself is under this piece of sticky whatever. I've just put the piece of sticky whatever back where it came from on my drive. Uh, this is where it sits. Just got the screw here to replace it. Um, just make sure when you replace the drive, the screw is socketed right and the drive is in properly. Uh, one of the GPD devices I had had a big issue with it not socketed correctly from the factory. Um, so there's a the drive. It's a single-sided drive. No idea if double-sided drives fit. There it is in. So that's an improperly. I grab the screw. Make it sit sure it's in right when I screw it in. So I've screwed that back in. I've made sure there's no play in this. Um, with your stock drive. I've gotten one of these enclosures. I don't know when this, if I put, post this video or when I post this video, if uh, AOK Zoe has a solution to this, but there's some driver issues I had trying to install the drivers from their website. So I really recommend having one of these. I think it's 15 or $20 off Amazon. Just make sure it's a um, NVMe one, not a SATA one, because they're not the same. Uh, I put the drive back on here the way it is and search for the drivers in, in the Windows 11 System32 driver store folder. I had no idea where that was. I just Googled Windows 11 driver location and it comes up. If you've got any problems with drivers, it's just a easy way to get ones that, that work. Um, so to put it back together, tape blobby man goes back in here. There he goes. Uh, I'm just going to keep that thing lined up there, that little bracket, and I'm going to put this back on. I'll try and screw that in first. So just make sure this part here goes back underneath the tape section. Which is over there. Okay, that's lined up with that still. I reckon. I do this one first with that little bracket thing underneath. Um, again, I think I made a mistake. These aren't different lengths so far, the ones that I, that actually came out. So that makes it a little less fiddly. That's lined up nice and easy. I'm going to do this one next. If you're worried everything's not lined up right, I just kind of screw them in a little bit and then tighten them as um, you line the other screws up. Like this one, I don't think it's lined up very well. Just go in and do the other two. Um, doing the Windows installation with a boot media creation tool thing, uh, the screen and everything will be in portrait mode. And I'm not sure if the USB port worked, so that could be a little fiddly. Um, I also tried to install Windows 10 on it first, and that did not work with some of the drivers. Um, and then I just upgraded it to Windows 11 and all the drivers started working. So uh, those are some of the issues that I encountered. It took me about a day to figure out um, how to get it all going again. The biggest one was my audio driver, which did, no matter where I got it from, it, it didn't work. I had to uninstall the audio driver, remove the original driver, and then get Windows to look for the driver on the original drive in that um, System32 driver store file location. 
Um, once I did that, everything worked. Even AOK -okay Zoe's little like, uh, I don't know, launcher thing, the thing that lets you adjust the TDP as you're using the device. I also couldn't find any documentation on how to bring the that menu up. It's the turbo button. It works really well, kind of overlay. I guess it's called it's called their overlay. Okay, so you see, I didn't unplug any of the antennas. I didn't unplug the fan. I just left everything plugged in. I've got very bad experience breaking all the plugs. Uh, so once that's all done, the back goes on pretty easily. You can leave your cable guides on if you want to leave your cable guides on. Um, that's set there. I think it was like peeling off on my device or something, so I just I didn't bother. Same with the captain tape. I don't really understand the point to the captain tape there. Uh, it's not coming into contact with anything, and the Wi-Fi on my device works perfectly fine. Um, so that's that's it. That's how to replace the SSD. So uh, the clips pretty straightforward. I'd, I'd start from the, to the opposite of the way you open it. So I'd start down the bottom and work my way up. Um, I'll turn it on now, but um, yeah, just make sure you put all the screws back in the back, including the broken warranty seal one, and it'll just boot up. There we go. Cool. Well, I hope, you know, it helps someone. I don't, again, I don't think I'll do a more detailed video. It's just I didn't see any other videos or instructions on how to do it for this thing yet. All right, bye.